as you can see on the screen here today, we got Twilight Masquerade. Yes, this set has not been released yet, all right? But it is coming out. Big shout out to the Pokemon Company. Yeah, thank you guys for always thinking of us here in the community, always thinking of me, all right? Sending us these boxes and these uh, products here to open up and uh, enjoy with the community. All right, let's go ahead and dive in and check it out. All right, first off, we got these uh, Ogre Pwn Master. You can see the promo inside here. All right, we're gonna open it up and see what is inside. All right, typically a lot of people, you know, they have a, there's, there's a divide between people that like to open booster boxes and people that like to open, uh, what is that, like elite trainer boxes and collection boxes and sleeve booster packs. Some people say that the sleeve booster packs and stuff have better hit rates. Some people say booster boxes are just, you know, better because they're more consistent. I think it's the same in the long run. All right, but let me know what you guys think. I'm curious. All right, inside of these ETBs here, there is always this beautiful pamphlet, which I like to flip through. I always like to mention that it's kind of nice to have this pamphlet here, especially if you decide to do a master set. It does have these little check boxes, so you can check them off when you have the non hollow as well as the reverse. So you can, uh, you know, really collect the entire master set. Let's go to flip towards the back here, which has the good stuff. I would say in this particular set, I think I think I really, really like the full art trainers in this set. Obviously, some of the Pokemon in here are kind of cool. Some of the artworks and SARs are really nice, like some of the uh, illustration rares that they have here. But I'm definitely into the trainers. For some reason, I like the, the, the Chiron, right? I really like the Chiron a lot, as well as the Purin, right? I mean, if I had to wish for something in this set, I think I'm going to be chasing the Purin the most, all right? Because of the fact that it's like a combo artwork. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but this Purin SAR, actually, or SIR, Special Illustration Rare, or Secret Illustration Rare, actually is a combination card, all right? We've seen this happen before with like V-Unions and Legends from the Heart Gold Soul Silver era, but never before in like the modern era. So it's kind of nice to see this. This Hisuian Growlithe here, if you see this uh, Illustration Rare, has the feet of Purin. So if you were to pull this Purin and you were to pull this Hisuian Growlithe and turned you know, the Growlithe, let's say, upside down, right beneath the Purin. It's a combination artwork, up and down. So, kind of cool to have that in the binder together. So, that's going to be my chase, I think, from this set here. And now that I've manifested it, we're going to pull it. It's guaranteed. All right, we got some beautiful packs in here. As always, there's some coins, there's some dice. Got some dividers here. Got some energies for people to play the TCG. Got some hard sleeves. And, of course, nowadays, we got a promo. We got the Teal Mask Ogre Paul in here. Illustration rare promo. Very cool, very cool. Let's dive into the packs. Nine packs. Ah, we got some cool pack arts here. We got that Dragapult, Holder Guys, Blood Moon or Saluna. We got the Ogre Pole there. So a couple different pack arts, four different pack arts here. Maybe we'll get lucky. Right? I don't think I've gotten lucky opening up new sets right when they release since Silver Tempest. Right? I think the last set was was a little bit unfortunate for me. Uh, Temporal Forces. I got very bad hits. All right, but uh, hopefully uh, it turns around here today with the uh, Twilight Masquerade. Let's see what do we got. We got a Diplin, Lampet, and a Hurt. Hearth Flame Mass Ogre Palm. All right, the Fire Ogre Palm there. All right, this is the little sparklies I'm talking about. These Terra Pokemon, they got these little sparklies. You see it on the edge there? That sparkly texture to it. I mean, I don't mind taking the bad luck so that you guys get good luck. I never mind that. But, you know, once in a while, I like to get something as well, right? Okay, Ting Lu Hollow. It's a little hollow there. Obviously, we've seen a lot of these artworks and cards since we've been opening up the Japanese sets uh, for this set here that combined into this set, Twilight Masquerade. But one of them that we haven't been able to pull yet out of um, uh, Crimson Haze is a Japanese set name, is that Blood Moon Ursaluna. There's an SAR of the uh, Blood Moon Ursaluna that we have not been able to pull yet. So maybe we'll end up pulling here. That'd be kind of funny. Couldn't pull it uh, for anybody else in the community here from the Japanese set, but can pull it here in English. Come on, Purin. Oh, we got a, we got a, uh, what is that, a spec card here, Scoop Up Cyclone. I do like the texture on this card. It does actually, um, it's a lot more vibrant in my opinion in Japanese, yeah, than English, but still nice, right? Cool texture on that a spec card there. Apparently they've been very good, right? A spec cards have been very popular, obviously for the TCG and very strong. So for those of you guys that play the TCG, you're gonna have to let me know which ones are kind of, uh, kind of good and kind of uh, meta. I think the Prime Catcher was really, really good from the first time they released a spec cards out of Temporal Forces. So we'll see which a spec card from this set is uh, really popular and really meta, because that usually leads to them being uh, pretty high valued, which makes it so it's easy trade fodder, so I can trade for more packs. Come on, give me a little something here on this Elite Trainer Box. Kadabra, nice to see in Kadabra artworks again. Chandelier, okay. Three more packs, please. Nine packs total here, please. All right, an EX and an A spec card is not gonna do it for me at least. Eevee, Vulpix, Enamorous. Okay, two packs left. Give me at least one secret rare, which nowadays any secret rare is pretty much a full art Pokemon or trainer or above. Or even an illustration rare is considered a secret rare. Come on, Emoga, Feebas, Blissey. All right, I guess I'll take another. Uh, I'll take another EX here, Blissey EX. Come on, last pack magic. I believe. I believe. I believe. Come on, for me, for me. Teal Mask Ogre Pond Hollow. 
Alright. Alright, so as you can see, we got a hollow. Alright, and a lot of these packs here guarantee the hollow nowadays. Alright. ETB can be pretty yellow, right? Like I said, nine packs you can get, you know, a ton of hits, or nine packs you can get absolutely nothing, as you can see. Right? But it's okay because we got a whole nother booster box. I think if I didn't have this other booster box here, I might be a little uh, I might be a little disappointed, but we got a whole nother booster box. So let's crack it open and let's see what we can pull out of the booster box, baby. 36 packs. Let's go. Hyper Aroma. Okay, we got another A spec card here. It's a different one. We got our first secret rare, right? Torkoal. IR. Now, obviously, anything that uh, I, I, every time I, I, I refer to this uh, secret rare thing, it's uh, any, any Pokemon that has a, or any card that has a number that's over the set number. Because that's how I feel traditionally secret rares were, were made, right? The first secret rare that we seen was out of Team Rocket, where, you know, it was, uh, you know, the card number was over the set number. So as you can see, this is card number 172 out of 167. So I consider this a secret rare. So this is the first one, all right? We should see five, like I said. Alakazam Hollow as well here. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, knowing my luck. I was just about to say, knowing my luck, I was going to say we were going to get four secret rares. But I'm okay with it we get four because we got an SIR right here. You see that little glimmer? You're going to have to wait till the end, right? Oh, I'm, I'm doing it to myself. I'm blue balling myself. Chandelier is our hollow here. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it to myself. I'm going to sleeve it up. I'm going to save it to the end, all right? I'm going to save it to the end. It could be a full art trainer SIR. It could be a Pokemon SIR. But I'm going to save it to the end. I'm going to save it to the end, all right? All right, there's been a couple of boxes I've seen before that have had like a gold and an SIR, as well as um, I've seen boxes with double SIRs. But another interesting fact for the sets that have recently been, uh, been released, first sets that came out like Scarlet and Violet Base, Paldea Evolve, you know, uh, Paradox Rift, those sets seem to have a really high hit rate in terms of SIRs, right? Like, rarities like this as well as golds but starting from the previous set temporal forces we've definitely noticed a decrease in those hit rates now you still get the normal which i said again five to eight secret rares in a box but it seems it's been a little bit harder right unless the whole world's just unlucky it seems like it's been a little harder to get sirs as well it's been a little bit harder to get golds so maybe pokemon's tweaking the hit rates a little bit and making it so the super super high rarity cards are not super super easy to get we got a Dragapult here. Okay, it's going to be one of our secret rares. Card number 200 out of 167. Let's leave that up. That's going to be our third secret rare total here. Well, let's keep going. But yeah, so from what I've seen, there's, there's been boxes that people have opened with no SIRs, no golds. They still got full arts. They still got illustration rares. They still got their five to eight secret rares, but no SIRs, no gold. All right, again, still possible to get more than one, but it's not guaranteed in every box. Whereas previously, like I said, in like, let's say for example, all day evolved, if you opened a box, you had a really good chance of getting at least one gold, at least one SIR, and oftentimes two. Definitely something to keep an eye on as these future sets come out. And now I'm definitely an advocate for, you know, hit rates being consistent, you know what I mean? Or hit rates being not too easy, not super hard, but not super easy. Obviously people were really tough and really uh, upset about some of the previous Sword and Shield sets like Evolving Skies, not being able to have alternate arts and it took so many packs to get them but at the same time that's what made some of those cards sought out uh, uh, sought after right i mean don't get me wrong the artworks were really nice but they were sought after because they weren't that easy to pull i think if you got a moon in every single box i don't think people would like moon that much right the, the artwork's nice people would collect it but it wouldn't be as hyped and demanded as it is you know in the current state but you know so you know pokemon taking that you know initiative and potentially because i don't know this is a legend right we don't know for sure yeah lowering that hit rates a little bit we got a lyron here so it's gonna be our fourth secret rare illustration here at Lyron doing some uh, some work at the scrapyard Okay, but you know Pokemon kind of maybe tweaking the hit rates a little bit making it a little bit harder for the higher rarity cards Might make them more popular All right, Might make them more you know feel feel more of a chase while you open these packs All right, doesn't feel super super easy to be able to uh, pull everything here And we got a few packs left for our first 18 All right. Yeah, you know something I think as long as it's not super hard and as long as it's not super easy I think it's fine I, I, I personally, it might be a hot take here, I personally think that the hit rates back during, you know, Evolving Skies and those Sword and Shield sets were perfectly fine. All they needed to do was maybe have trainer galleries, right? Later sets like Astral Radiance, Lost Origins, Silver Tempest, they all had trainer galleries with these extra character rares and, you know, art rares and all these different, you know, extra trainers and some gold cards and stuff like that that came out of those trainer galleries. If Evolving Skies, Fusion Strike, Battle Styles, Chilling Rain had those trainer galleries, I think those sets were perfect. Perfect hit rates, perfect sets, right? Perfect feel, perfect excitement, right? From opening up those uh, those boxes. Let me get some good lucks here. This is me. This is me. Oh, I think we got a full art. Carmen. All right, we'll take a full art Carmen. Yeah, or Carmine. 
you know, get it? Because, you know, this is my car. This is my break, so it's car mine. All right, anyways, uh, we got five secret rares here. Let's keep it going. Maybe we can get six. Uh, maybe we get lucky enough. We'll get six here. Come on. I mean, considering we got 17 packs yet left, I, I, I hope we get six secret rares. <laughs> I do I do hope we get six, six secret rares, at the very least. It could be anything. I'll take a... I'll take a full art Pokemon. I'll take another full art trainer. I'll take an illustration rare. We got a scoop up Cyclone. So same A spec card we pulled from our ETB. That's unfortunate. All right, I kind of wanted uh, you know all the different A spec cards, but it's okay. And especially if I decided to do a master set, I definitely would like a different one. But okay, we got two A spec cards. Don't think we'll see any more. All right, like I said, two is usually that average that you'll see inside of a booster box. Come on, maybe I can manifest it. Come on. Pyrin, S-I-R. Uh, I mean, it could be right here. This could be the Pyrin. Okay, you know what? That could be the Pyrin, so I should actually manifest something else. Let's manifest the Hisuian Growlithe Illustration Rare. If we get that, if we pull the Growlithe, this is guaranteed to be a, uh, this is guaranteed to be a Pyrin right underneath it. 100%, 100 million thousand percent. Yep, I was gonna count it before, the math checks out. Come on, Seeking, Okie Dogie Hollow. Come on. You know, something interesting, I'm, I'm interested in what a lot of people think now that these, you know, the Scarlet and Violet era has been out a little bit. What people think about the guaranteed hollows in every pack? Is it, does it feel good, right? Is it, is, are people happy about that, right? Because obviously back in the day, we could open up packs and get no hollows at all, right? A non hollow rare, but nowadays you're guaranteed a hollow. I don't know, right? Does it help out a little bit? Because even during that Sword and Shield era, I feel like people didn't really care about the hollows that much, even though the hollows were a little harder to pull, right? Nowadays, people look at the hollow and they're like, okay, it's a hollow, whatever, right? They just toss it to the side. They don't care too much about it, right? So did it really change anything? Maybe psychologically, it's kind of, it's, it's a little bit better now, just because we know there's something shiny. We got a Heliolisk here. Hey, this is gonna be our two, four, fifth, sixth secret rare. Not bad. Illustration rare Heliolisk. Very nice. But you know, I guess at the same time, we have to think of it as a whole, right? Pokemon is a very interesting TCG because it, you know, it captures a lot of different collectors. You have people that play the game, you have people that collect the cards, you have, you know, kids that are into it, you have adults that are into it, you have kids and adults that are into it, you have families that are into it, right? So I guess from, you know, thinking of it for a kid perspective that, you know, doesn't maybe know the game that much, doesn't really know the cards that much and just starting to collect, I think it's definitely better that there is at least a hollow. Right? Even if maybe we don't care about it. I mean, a lot of those kids that, you know, open a pack and get a hollow, at least it's a little exciting to be able to have a hollow, right? Because I'm sure they don't feel excited about pulling a non hollow. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty certain about that. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not too, I'm not, it's, I don't know, I got too many uh, hot takes on the guaranteed hollows in every pack. Three more packs. Oh, lots of EXs. You guys notice that? I think I pulled, what, two EXs out of the ETBs? But look how many e EXs I have now. Two, four, six, seven. We got eight EXs. So a total of, yeah. You know, well, there's nine now, but seven. All right, about seven of those EXs came out of just this booster box. So a lot of EXs. Lots of EXs there. Monkey Dory. Last pack magic. Come on. Last pack magic, baby. Growlithe. Oh, heat Tran Hollow. Okay. All right. Not bad, right? I got my two Ace Bet cards. I got six Secret Rares out of this, so not too shabby. Especially opening up nine packs out of that ETB and getting no Secret Rares. I think getting six here definitely made it feel a little bit better. Final card here, you can see our spread of hits. Oh, we only got eight EXs. So we got six EXs out of this uh, out of this box and two from the ETBs. Back looks pretty well centered. No dots here too, so yeah, whatever this is, I, yeah, I'm probably going to get it graded. I like to collect things uh, before I uh, reveal the card here. I like to, you know, people always ask me what I like to collect. I like to collect things that have kind of like a meaning or something that has a story behind it. So something like this is a good example, right? Opening up Twilight Masquerade um, with you guys, you know, sharing the experience, opening the set as it's just coming to release and then getting a nice hit from it, no matter what it is here. Hopefully it's pure. And no matter what it is here, you know, it's potentially something I might send off, get it encapsulated, get it graded, and you know, keep it in the personal collection. Come on. Is reseal. Is reseal. Is re I already knew. I already knew it was in there. I already knew. That's what I already knew. I already knew it was in there. Right? When we opened up the ETB, right? I pretended to not know what was in the set. Yeah, I pretended to flip through the book. Right? I pretended to, you know, tell you which one I want the most. I already knew it was in there. But yeah, it's easy, bro. Right? I already. <laughs> I can't believe it. The last time I was able to do something like this was Silver Tempest. I was telling you guys, right? I told everybody. Okay, I know it was cliche, but. I want the Lugia alternate art because I thought the artwork was amazing, right? Obviously, it's Lugia. And we pulled it out of the first box of Silver Tempest I opened for myself. And here we are, Pyramid, baby. Man, imagine if we pulled the Growlithe as well. Damn. Let's go, man. Wow, it's really well centered, too. Well, I mean, obviously, I think this card is, you know, worthy of submitting and getting it graded. But uh, I'm definitely going to get it graded, encapsulated, and add it to the uh, collection. We'll see what this one does. Yeah, we'll see how this one uh, does for grading. But now, I've been baited. 
and I've been pulled into this beautiful set, Twilight Masquerade, because I'm gonna be chasing that Hisuian Growlithe. Like I said again, it was like a double double card, right? When I when I, when I pull it, I'll show it to you guys. The feet of the Pyrrhon come out, and you can see the Growlithe will be upside down. And you can actually see the Growlithe's face. If you look carefully, you can see the Growlithe's face in the camera lens. So, super cool dual artwork that I definitely want to have in the collection here. But, okay, well that, that is a way to start off an opening of Twilight Masquerade, right? Big shout out to the Pokemon Company once again. Thank you guys for sending me, you know, an uh, ETB and a booster box to open here with the community. And, yeah, I look forward to the set. I look forward to ripping the set with you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy the set as well. All right? Twilight Masquerade, baby. Let's freaking go, dude. I mean, I'll end up giving away the rest of these here. So whenever this video goes live, uh, any of you guys that leave a comment down below, let me know your favorite card out of this coming set or your chase card out of this coming set and all the rest of these hits here, right, that you see on the screen, everything we pulled today, except for the Purin, right, along with also the promo here, right? We'll give it away to one person, right, that leaves a comment on this, uh, this video. Their favorite card that they're chasing out of this set, all right? So make sure you hit the like, you guys are subscribed, and you leave a comment down below, and we'll definitely give this away to you guys. All right, let's go. Let's freaking go, dude. That's what I'm talking about.